What's up everybody and welcome back. We were still riding on the high from the last episode's win against Lazio 5-3. A very nice win for us against our eternal rival Lazio. A very nice game because we scored a lot of goals. We did concede a few but uh, we still scored five. In the meantime, off uh, off screen, I played the game against Dinamo Tbilisi, the Conference League game. As you can see, I won 6-1, even though all my players, or mostly, most of them were um, reserve players. Only a couple of players that were um, my standard players. But still a nice win for me. I did concede a single goal, but that's okay. And uh, in other news, I got a new assistant manager, an old... Roma legend here, Daniele De Rossi. I brought him in to be my assistant manager just to give the extra touch for uh, for managing Roma. He is a Roma legend and uh, a lot of you probably saw him play and his love for Roma has never been in question. Even though here, as you can see in the picture, background picture, he did play for Boca Juniors. Uh, I think it was a year. But we brought him back as assistant manager not that there was anything wrong with our current assistant manager, I just thought that it would be fun to bring De Rossi back. I also did some changes. I'm just going to remove the team here uh, to the team, uh, to the tactics here. Um, I'm going to commit to using Bellotti primarily here as a false nine that may or may not roam for position. I'm actually going to remove roam, roam for position just to see how that turns out. And uh, the midfield here is going to be a ball-winning midfielder that holds his position. So he's going to stay back here and cover the midfield once the central midfielder here, here goes forward. And I have him at move into channels and move forward and also direct passes. So he's going to go a little bit forward while the ball-winning midfielder is going to hang back and uh, defend. Now, um, the tactic themselves, I didn't change a lot here. I removed expressive because I thought that a lot of my players um, strayed a lot from their position, so I'm going to remove that. And run a defense, I'm going to toggle that on and off sometimes. As as I showed you in the, one of the first episodes, my, my team is the best at um, acceleration and I think dribbling and pace. Among one of the best in Serie A, so run a defense is always a good idea once... When, when you have that, those kind of players and uh, passing to place is also something I'm going to talk on and off regarding um, uh, depending on the team I'm playing against if I'm uh, behind or if I need to get a goal and everything else is just uh, the same I haven't touched uh, on that so that's the update in tactics the update in uh, management and uh, the next game against Sampdoria and then we have a big game against Inter that are right behind us in the in the league so see you at the Sampdoria game and hopefully we will be able to win that game. And the game is underway. Away against Sampdoria and I just saw that Sampdoria got um, Ferran Torres on the loan, I'm assuming. And um, yeah, I got to keep an eye on him because he's a, he's a good player. Um, above the average player that uh, Sampdoria can attract. And already here, a good chance. Pellegrini, what a perfect play there. Nice goal from Pellegrini and nice passing. I think it was from Pelotti. Yeah, Pelotti. Nice goal. Nice overall goal here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start experimenting also with my midfield. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use one ball-winning midfielder. But the other midfielder currently is a central midfielder with some play instructions. But since Pellegrini is playing there, this guy here, I'm thinking about using him as a Mezala because um, he does have all the attributes a Mezala needs. Um, primarily against smaller teams, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment a little bit to see if I can uh, if I can get more a better performance out of Pellegrini. I mean, right now he is playing good; he just scored, but um, I think he can do better. And I'm still without Tammy Abraham. He's been uh, he has been injured for some time now, so I'm using Belotti and Shmurdov as my um, attacking two. I can feel that I miss Tammy because um, he is a good player, good striker. He's tall, he's fast, so I'm looking forward to getting him back, and um, hopefully he will be able to score more goals than um, my current two players. Even though Shmurdov is not a bad player, but Tammy is just a, a better player. Oh, Smalling, what a miss, what a miss.
We're going into halftime here. I'm leading one to nil and uh, created a fair amount of chances. And I uh, contained Sampdoria pretty well. They had one shot on goal. So uh, for me, it's important to go ahead and get another goal, but still not tire my players out too much because I have the game against Inter in a couple of days. So uh, yeah, let's continue like um, we played so far here. And maybe something here, Pellegrini with the ball. I just saw the Pellegrini's on yellow card. I need to, I need to substitute him so he doesn't get carded again and uh, misses the Inter match. He is one of my better players, so. Uh, yeah, I definitely needs to substitute him, and uh, yeah, maybe put Tiawara in or one of my younger players. Oh, nice play here, Pellegrini. Can he do anything to Shumuradov? Shumuradov on the front post. Nice goal there from Shumuradov. That's what I'm talking about. He might, attribute wise, he might not be one of the best players out there, but he's a smart player, and uh, for the role that I'm using him in, he's uh, actually pretty good. He's a good dribbler. He's good at keeping the ball, and uh, yeah, he can show that. He just showed that he can score the goals also. Yeah, a brilliant goal and a smart goal there from uh, Shimuradov. Maybe something here with the, on the left flank. Vinya with the ball back to Saar. To Smalling. Can you take the shot here, Smalling? Not usually a player to score the, the goals there, Smalling. Especially from long range. But uh, we're still piling on the pressure. Oh, very toot, almost. Uh, I think it's time for my first substitution here. I think so. I got a lot of players that are in, uh, not injured but uh, tired. Smalling, one of them. Karstrup. Yeah, Karstrup is an issue because my other right back is injured right now. Um, so I need to nurse Karstrup, but it's too early to to take him off right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take Pellegrini out just because he has that yellow one and put Diawara in here. No, I'm going to actually use Cristante. I think it's safe to take my second substitution here and take Karstorp out and put uh, Calafiori in. I know Calafiori is a left back, but um, I think he might do something on the right back. At least be a little bit uh, useful and I'm going to take him off the complete wood back and just put him on a um, regular wood back just to have him be a little more defensive and not conceding goals on his side. And uh, 15 minutes left of the game, well, 20 minutes. Um, in a couple of minutes, I'm going to use my last substitute. And I'm using these early substitutions on the key players just to just to keep those players fresh for the next game against Inter. A uh, very important game for me here. I, uh, it's a game I can't lose because I'm going to lose my top spot there. And I think the, this year's battle for first place is going to be against Inter. They just have a very good team and a, a fairly good depth to the team also, which I'm sorely lacking, as you can see right now. As soon as I have some players injured, I'm really struggling with some um, on, on some positions. So, yeah, Inter is going to be my uh, number one rival for the top spot. I'm going to change the tactics a little bit, the mentality. I don't want to press that hard, and uh, I don't want to concede any yellow cards. Maybe drop down a little bit more here. Um, I'm just going to ride the game out here and uh, hopefully don't concede goals and uh, don't get any players injured. That's the most important part here. Maybe something here, Shumurodav. Nah, he takes, the, he takes a little bit too long with the ball. I lose it, but it's fine. 10 minutes left, I'm leading 2-0, to nil, so I'm hopeful here. And I'm still keeping the ball. Mayoral here. That might actually be an offside, but let's see what the ref says about that. Yeah, it's probably not offside. It looks like Mural was offside there when he received the, when, he, when the ball was played. No, the goal is awarded. Uh, that's a nice surprise for once. Um, let's just see the goal here. Again, high pressing for me. Meritut. No, that's best. Machini wins the ball. Saniolo first time to Mural, and he just he just uh, taps the ball in here. A nice goal for Mural, the substitute. I'm just gonna take. Time wasting a little bit up. No need to to give it a full throttle anymore. Just uh, waste the time. Get the get the game over with and um, no injuries. I think that's my mantra this season. No injuries because my bench is uh, really not that good. Um, so yeah, my starting eleven is decent. I mean, it's not it's not for top of Syria A, uh, even though I am in the top right now. 
but my bench is really atrocious and uh, I, I think the the off season the when the when the when the season ends in the summer I'm definitely going to use my transfer fees for um for some with uh, good get some good bench players Zaniolo here with a nice goal in stoppage time and it's 4 nil fairly convincing victory here over Sampdoria away from home so actually a pretty good game for me here Again, Shimura Dahl with the ball. He's just really good at dropping deep in that false nine position. Dropping deep, running with the ball, and then finding that pass. Yeah, good game from Shimura Dahl. I, yeah, he scored one goal, but uh, I think he had one or two assists. So, yeah, good game from him. 4-0. And, uh, yeah, Shimura Dahl, Zaniolo at uh, the best players of the game, even though they picked Nicola Zaniolo. Good game for me here. And... Um, Next game is Inter, the really important game. So, uh, yeah, see you at that game. So I'm just going to go through my players and their individual training here just to make sure that every player is working on um, on some focus. Um, I usually do this because it's better than uh, just uh, let, it, let it be empty because um, my opinion is that the additional focus adds... Um, works to better um, attributes so it's something that I always do so Pellegrini here as a midfielder I'm look I'm mostly looking at the uh, attribute where he's not that good um, so for example tackling and marking I want that to be fairly high in my midfielders because they need to be able to go forward with the ball but also be able to defend so I'm going to actually set that on defensive so you can see on his defensive positioning he's working with marking decision making and positioning so that's three good attributes to have as a midfielder. So that's something he, he should be working towards. The same as uh, the same for all my defenders. Um, most of them actually are working on defensive positioning. So I'm going to also look at his um, position role duty because that's also something that's important. And I'm actually going to work him as a Mizala here on support. As you can see here, the green ones are the ones that are from the position role duty training. So he's working on all of those, and uh, yeah, as you can see, there's pretty good attributes to work on. Zaniolo as a false nine. No, we're actually going to use him as a shadow, uh, shadow striker, and um, his additional focus is going to be. Yeah, I'm thinking actually. I mean, his strength, pace, good. Jumping reach, not that good. His aerial is not that good, but. Um, I'm actually going to use attacking movement just to get a little bit better decision and anticipation. Ibane is defender. He has one. He has uh, the goalkeeper. He is going to be a sweeper keeper on actually attack. I'm going to use him on attack. Aggressive sweeper keeper and put some sweeping here. Even though, yeah, he, he has uh, good stats on those. Calafiori, he's going to be a complete wing back on support that's fine so i'm just gonna i'm not gonna do it here but i'm gonna go through all my players and do it uh, like that and you can find this tab under training and uh, individual and you can just put them um, you can see all the players in the first team right here or you can actually do it also from the player tab development and training and then you can do it here but it's just a little bit easier to have um, all the players visible here and do it from here so we're looking at the tactics for the inter game and I'm just going to show you what I usually do with my opposition parking here. Now, um, this is a little bit different tra tactics as they're not using any wingers, but um, right now I want those two backs to not be able to run down the flank and then cross the ball into the two attackers. So I'm actually going to show Dumfries the right back here on his left foot. So he will be more inclined to run in to the pitch because um, I'm going to show him to his left foot. And the same with Perish is here on his right foot. So by running in here, they're going to crowd the midfield and hopefully they won't be able to cross the ball to Jekko that's really strong in the air here. Um, I'm going to, I want to put some pressure on all the players here in the midfield because um, <clears throat> I want them to be under pressure and lose the ball here and not be able to pass the ball forward 
the J Jacko is a really strong guy, so I'm going to go all in on him. Uh, mark him the mark him tight and uh, press pressure on him uh, fairly early and then go hard because he is a he is a big guy. Martinez is more like a, more the fast player as you can see here, good acceleration and good pace. So I'm going to mark him tight and um, Martinez is a right-footed player so I'm going to show him more to the left. No actually I'm going to leave that off there's no need to do that I'm, I'm, i was thinking of showing him to the right foot so he goes down this way more often but um, no need for that but i'm gonna go hard in on him and i'm actually gonna close down the two backs um more often so that's what i usually do um i'm gonna show you once i played against a team that I, that plays with backs and with wings i'm i do things a little bit different there but uh, i'm gonna show you once we play a team that plays with the uh, with those players And the game is underway here. Thankfully, I am playing at home, so um, there's a little bit more pressure on me to win this game because um, playing away from home is a little bit more difficult. Inter is not playing that offensively, I would think, as uh, if they played at home. So maybe a chance here. Bellotti, can he do something? Ah, he tries to chip the goalkeeper, but um, the goalkeeper gets his hands on the ball. Good chance, though. Good play by Zaniolo again. He's really been turning up, turning it up in the field the last couple of games here. Inter, not a single shot on goal so far. Um, containing it pretty well here so far. 30 minutes played soon. And uh, yeah, it looks like they're going to have their chance here from the corner kick. And of course, Skriniar heads the ball in from the corner kick. Nobody is uh, marking him at the front of the post here. So yeah, Inter leading 1-0. That's uh, really disappointing. That was, I think, Smalling's man. Yeah, Smalling was supposed to cover him, but uh, he didn't. So we're down once a nil at home. Gonna do a little bit of shouting here and uh, turn up the attack mentality. Looks like Inter are controlling the game here the last um, couple of minutes towards the end of the first half. Can Jacko do something? Oh, yeah. He's really dangerous on those crosses, Jacko. Vignac and Nina. There's no players that are free here for the forward pass. So I'm going to... Yeah, they're going to just take it easy here. Work the ball forward. That's also a really good option here. Don't just blindly hoof the ball up. And Zaniolo here to Bellotti. Can he do something? Come on! Ah, yeah. That was a little bit short angle angle there from Bellotti. The ball just got away from him. He was closed down effectively there by uh, the Inter defender. Yeah, so Inter leading here at halftime. Doesn't look that good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run a defense and pass the ball into... Not pass the ball, but run a defense and maybe um, do some little counter-pressing. Um, hopefully it will be enough to confuse the Inter players and... Uh, Turn over the ball for me a couple of times in the midfield. So, but let's see. Yeah, I win the ball here in the midfield. Ibane is um, playing it back in the in the back three. I can't find any players that are free. Winya with the ball. Yeah, they're really uh, marking me tight there. Oh, Pellegrini. Pellegrini. Oh, what a shame. But offside for Pellegrini. Nice player there, actually. And a good run from Pellegrini. Um, I was talking about it last time and I'm actually going to use him now as a... Oops, that was the wrong button. And I'm actually going to use him as a... Why can't I press the button? As a Mizala. I'm going to use him as an attacking Mizala because I'm going to have to put some pressure on the Inter right now. I only have uh, yeah, 40 minutes left. Zaniolo, uh, he loses the ball to Barilla. Yeah, Barilla is a really good player. Yeah. That was a, was our afraid of Jaco uh, dropping deep, getting the ball and then playing Martinez, 
and thankfully Martinez did miss that one shot, but uh, he was completely free. Belotti got injured, so I have to substitute him for my Ral. Vinya looking tired out there and uh, also performing very poorly. 6.1, that's really not good. Put Calafiori on. Mayoral here with the center shot. Yeah, there's no, no one tall enough to challenge Skriniar down there and Bastoni. Devry, yeah, with three really, really good defenders. Inter really have a good team here. Oh, Shomorodov almost with the goal here. Corner from the other side. Pellegrini censors the ball. Nah. They really have three. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe that's a penalty for me here. Was it a handball? Was it a push? I didn't see. I saw th something about uh, a handball. Maybe we might get a little bit lucky. And it is a penalty. It is a penalty. That's really important there. And Skruniar is already on a yellow. Can he get a red here? Yeah, second yellow. That's a red card for Skriniar. Come on. Come on. Score the penalty. Maybe we can get the winner here after. We have 20 minutes. It's time enough. Ooh, Veratude. Nicely put in Veratude. He's pretty sure on those penalties. Now it's 1-1. One, one, and uh, Inter have a man down here for the last 20 minutes. We, are, we have a good chance here. Need to continue playing like I've played so far here in the second half. But the changes we made actually did have a positive impact. So, yeah, hopefully we'll get the goal. Ten minutes left. I need to make a substitution. But um, who are we going to take out? Smalling has had a dreadful game. But I don't think that Inter are going to do any attacking here. Saniolo, Shmuradov. The problem is I don't have any players I can put on. Abraham is still injured. You put Cristante in instead of Saniolo and then shift those players. I'm going to do that. And then one last shout, demand more. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to score. Yeah, we we're stoppage time. <laughs> maybe Inter is going to score here. Yeah, Smalling gets the ball out. Good. Oh, maybe something here. Karstorp gets the ball, but he loses the ball also to Vidal. Yeah, that's pushed. Ooh, Lautaro. Lautaro Martinez is a really, really good attacker. One of the top attackers in this year's football manager, I think. A very good all-round player. He's strong. He's fast. And oof, what a nice shot there. And good the goalkeeping there from uh, Patricio. Yeah, one minute left. 1-1. One, one. I mean, I would have accepted a 1-1 one, one before the game started, but um, a little bit disappointing since Inter played with 10 men for 20 minutes. But uh, yeah, at least we didn't lose. And that's always something positive to take from the game. Shimuradov loses the ball. Yeah, that was poor from him. Pellegrini goes a little bit too hard in on uh, Martinez. He gets the yellow card. Yeah, I need to watch, watch out because yeah, the game is over. But I do have a game against Juventus here in a couple of days. Another tough, tough game and uh, not enough time between these two games to give my players a rest. But uh, yeah, hopefully we will win against Juventus. Another tough game for us. But uh, yeah, we didn't lose against Inter, that's something. And uh, the game is pretty much over by now. Yeah, and there it goes. 1-1 one, one against Inter. It's, uh, it's acceptable, I would say. It's acceptable. We didn't lose... And we only turned up in the game after this in the second half. The changes I made technically did have a positive impact, so that's something. But uh, yeah, next game is already in a couple of days against Juventus, and um, I'm gonna cut it here for this episode and uh, see you at the Juventus match. And thank you for watching.